Hello everyone and welcome to this video with Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to handle the multiple tab and windows in detail. So let's begin. First, let's understand the concept of multiple tabs and windows, and then we will see how we can actually automate and handle these tabs. Okay, so let's go to the browser here, and here you see this is my first tab, and I'm opening here synonym dot dev, and then the second one I'm opening here as playwright. Okay, so now basically these are two windows or two tabs. One is this one, and second this one. Now there are so many cases here. There are mainly two possible scenarios. One is that you go to a particular website and click on any link, and this link will open in a new tab. Okay, for example, you are on the Selenium and you click on some link here. And it opened here in the second tab. The other scenario is, is that you want to open a new tab and work in a new tab. So these are two scenarios. Now problem here is that whenever you are working with the tabs, by default, the web driver actually interacts with the active tab or the window. Okay. So in order to work with the second tab, you need to switch to the second tab. Then you can locate the elements and work on those ones. Else, what happens is that if you are here on this first tab and you're trying to locate some element here, try to click somewhere here, it will fail the script because the driver will be focusing on this tab. You need to switch the focus to this tab. Then you can interact and you know perform some action on the element. Okay. Now let's write the code practically and understand it. So for that, let me go to the PyCharm here and let me get one new file here. I am naming it as handling tabs. Okay, so the first thing is that we need a web driver. So browser equals to web driver dot Firefox and let's go here import this import cm.webdriver now we need to maximize the window browser dot maximize okay and now once it will maximize so in the first tab what I will do is that I will open the Selenium website. Let me go to the browser here. Let me copy this one and paste it here. Now, what it will do is that it will open this one. As I said, that there are two main possible scenarios where the first one is that you can click on any link and it will open in a new tab or window, and second one is that you are intentionally open a new tab. So in either case, you have to handle those tabs. So for this tutorial, I'm not clicking on any link to open the tab. I'm just using a method available to open a new window here. But the rest will work in the same way. Okay, so browser dot switch to then where we need to switch to. Switch to you see that we have a new window function here. Okay, so it will open a new tab here. So let me uh, run this one and see what happens here. So basically, it will open a Firefox browser, maximize the window, go to Selenium website, and open a new tab. Here, you see that it opened a new tab. This is a blank as of now, and this is the Selenium dot tab open in the first tab or the window. Okay. Now, let's go here. And now what I do is that again I will use browser.get here and this time I will be passing playwright.dev here. So let's copy this one and paste it here. And now if I run this one, so in the first tab it will open the synonym.dev and in the second tab it will open the playwright. Okay. So uh, so far we have opened the tab and now and so far we have the two tabs or the windows now actually we need to handle here again as I said I'm opening intentionally but in your scenario 
it might be triggered based on any link as well okay the first thing is that when there are multiple tabs you need to count the number of the tabs here so i'm creating a variable and i'm naming it as number of tabs and it's really easy to get a number so we'll be using a function length and inside this we will be providing browser dot and we have a function called window sorry we have this window handles okay which we need to provide here and that's all now let's print this one simply so print and i'm printing this number of tabs okay let's run this and see what happens so again uh, it opened the synonym and then play right and if i go to the console here it will say two because in the first tab we have synonym and in the second tab we have the play right okay so basically this uh, window handles will be used to handling the windows now when there are multiple windows every window has a unique value browser identify it based on the unique value so how we get a unique value from there so let me create a variable here called tabs underscore value and that's really simple again browser dot window handles okay now we are not getting the length and just printing this one so simply i will copy this one from here and paste, paste it here let me copy this one paste it here and now uh, let me close all the browsers as of now let's run this one again and see what happens this should open the browser opening the selenium in the first tab then second tab and if i go back to the console here so this time you will see that we are getting these two values so the first value belongs to the first tab and the second value belongs to a second tab okay now if you see that we firstly it opens the same name in the first tab then we move to the second tab and now we are on this tab okay so let's get the value of this tab okay so what i'll do is that again it's really simple i'm creating variable called current underscore tab equals to browser dot you see that we have this current window handle and that's it let's print this one so print and inside this i will be printing this one let's run this one again and see what happens so it will go back and here you see that this is the first tab this is the second tab and this value and this value is same okay so that's how you can get the value of the current tab okay now let's perform some action on the current tab which is playwright.dev so let me go here and just let's click on this one inspect this one and we have this css selector available here so let's go with the css here let me copy this one and now i am on this particular playwright you know tab okay so simply browser dot find element does the dot find element and this is by using css selector so let's import by and now let me type it again dot css selector and here is the value and simply i am clicking on this one okay and after clicking on this one what i need to do is that i need to switch to my first tab okay so for this there can be different approaches but right now 
my approach is that I will find the first tab and how I find it so browser dot window handles and this is basically index base so the first value the first tab is zero index and the second tab is on the one and so on so I will provide zero here so in my first tab is basically has this value okay simply what I will do is that I will put a condition or you can directly switch to the you know tab but the better position is to use the condition so if current tab is not equals to is not equals to my first tab okay then because I want to switch to the first tab then browser dot switch to and inside this one I will be passing my first tab variable which contains the handle of the first tab okay and after this one once I will be switched to my selenium tab what I will do is that I will go here and say browser dot find element and oops, by dot let me go here and let's click on this download link here so let's go to the selectors up here and this is the relative x bar let me copy this one let me go back here so by dot x bar and here we'll provide the x bar and now we will be clicking on this one that's it now let's run this one and see what happens and after executing this successfully what i will show you is that if i don't switch it then what happens so first it will run to this one and it should go back to the selenium one but there seems to be some error let's see what is the issue so browser dot switch to browser dot switch to okay sorry so basically browser dot switch to dot window this one and inside this one we need to provide this first time and now let's run this one this time you will see the execution properly it will open the selenium then navigate and open to the play right and you see that this execution was really fast but it was back to the selenium tab and it clicks on the download now what happens if i don't switch so here i am switching this one right so what i will do is that i will comment this line of code and this is my if check as well okay and now uh, let's run this one and see this time it will not be able to find because we are not focusing on the selenium tab it will go here it will navigate to this particular get started you are in the playwright but if you go here we will get the exception the exception is basically if i go down here and able to locate the element and the reason is that in this particular tab in this particular tab we don't have this downloads element right so this is a reason we need to switch between the tabs we need to handle the tabs so that we can perform our actions and automation scripts accordingly right so basically if i you know summarize this code here basically so first what i am doing is that I am, you know, creating instance of the web driver for Firefox. I'm maximizing the browser. I'm opening a Selenium. So this will automatically open in the first tab. Then I'm creating or switching to a new tab using this new window. Then inside the new window, I'm opening the Playwright website. 
After this, using this length object, I'm counting the length or the count of the tabs opened. Okay, here I'm printing this one. Then each tab has some unique value. So I'm getting or printing these values. Then I'm printing the value of the current tab. So current tab means active and focused by the web driver. And then after this, I'm clicking on get started link in the second tab, which is playwright. Then I have created a variable for the first tab and inside this I have this browser dot window handles and this is basically index space and index start from zero. So zero means that first tab. Okay, so this will give me a first tab value inside this one. Then I was, uh, you know, putting a condition. If my current tab is not equal to first tab, then browser dot switch to my first tab and then perform the action. So in this way, you can actually handle and perform different tasks on the different and multiple tabs. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.